Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the shrine of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. And as we gather, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends, let us acknowledge our sins and once again ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have, have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in, in what I have, I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, and therefore I ask of Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. By your help, we beseech you, O Lord, we may walk eagerly in that same charity with which, out of love for the world, your Son handed himself over to death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. After Israel's infidelity to the covenant made at the desert, the prophet Jeremiah looks forward to a new covenant Yahweh will make with his people. This time, God will write his law in the hearts of his people who will then live in obedience to God's law. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The days are coming says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel, the house of Judah, it will not be like the covenant I made with their fathers. The day I took them by the hand to lead them forth from the land of Egypt, for they broke my covenant, and I had to show myself their master, says the Lord. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will place my law within them and write it upon their hearts. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. No longer will they have need to teach their friends and relatives how to know the Lord. All from least to greatest shall know me, says the Lord, for I will forgive their evil doing and remember their sin no more. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness, in the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt 
and of my sin, cleanse me. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit sustain in me. I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall return to you. Jesus learns obedience to the Father through suffering. In this way, he becomes the source of our salvation. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. In the days when Christ Jesus was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death and he was heard because of his reverence. Son though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered, and when he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Greeks who had come to worship at the Passover feast came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and asked him, Sir, we would like to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew, then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. And Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. I am troubled now, yet what should I say? Father, save me from this hour. But it was for this purpose that I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven, I have glorified it and will glorify it again. The crowd there heard it and said it was a thunder, but others said, An angel has spoken to him. And Jesus answered and said, This voice did not come for my sake, but for yours. Now is the time of judgment on this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out, and when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw everyone to myself. And he said this, indicating the kind of death he would die. May dear friends, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. The gospel today talks about the wider popularity of Jesus, the effect of being so popular that even to the point some people from other countries 
and other villages wanted to see him. And he, as mentioned in today's gospel, the Greek-speaking people wanted to see Jesus because of his popularity, because they heard about someone who will be the ruler of the nations. And so they wanted to see him. And unfortunately, they see a different person, a different kind of person, someone who, who never expected. Hindi po nila inaasahan yung kanilang gusto makita. Sapagkat sabi nila, ang narinig nila, may isang taong magiging liderato ng, ban ng bayan. Ang pagkaakala nila, ang taong ito na magiging liderato ng kanilang bayan ay isang taong politiko, isang taong madaldal, isang taong malakas ang loob magsalita, isang taong sabihin natin, malakas ang dating. Subalit sa di inaasahan ang nakita nila ay si Jesus. At nung pagkakataong iyon, alam niyo po ba ang ang, ang mga pananalita ni Jesus? Ibang-iba sa mga kasalukuyang liderato noong, noong panahong iyon. Sapagkat ang mga pananalita ni Jesus, ang kanyang mga wika ay tungkol sa kanyang kahinaan. Sinasabi niya ang kanyang parating na kamatayan. Kaya nga naman, totoo nga naman, ibang-iba sa inaasahan nilang liderato. Ibang-iba sa mga taong politiko. E sa atin ngayon, makikita mo, ewan ko lang kung nakakita ba kayo ng isang politiko o isang liderado na ang sinasabi sa sarili ay tungkol sa kahinaan. Marahil wala tayo nakikita ng ganun. Sapagkat ang nakikita natin, madalas ang mga nasa po, Ma mga pinuno natin o nasa, nasa matataas na posisyon, ang madalas na sinasabi ay ang kanilang kakayahan. Gagawin ko to, dadalhin ko ito ka sa inyo. Pagkos ang nakita nila kay Jesus na sinasabi magiging liderato na siyang magliligtas ng bayan, ay isang taong sinasabi ang kanyang kahinaan. Sinasabi sa harap ng bayan na di magtatagal, siya ay magdurusa. Kakaiba nga naman ang taong ito. Hindi lang yan mga kapatid, habang patuloy nilang pinaparinggan si Jesus, kakaiba nga naman ang kanyang pananalita sapagkat sinasabi niya sa mga taong susunod sa akin, sa maging, mga taong maging kaisa sa akin, hindi magtatagal, dadaanin nyo rin ang pagdurusa. Aba, kakaiba nga. Sapagkat sa ngayon, sa kasalukuyan, ang mga tao naghahanap ng kakampi, ang mga tao naghahanap ng kasama, abay, hindi pagdurusa ang, pinagsa, ang sinasabi. Ang mga sinasabi, mga pangako, ibibigay ko sa inyo. Kapag sasama kayo sa akin, ibibigay ko sa inyo. Mga ngako ako, ito ang matatanggap nyo. Subalit, ang narinig nila sa kay Jesus ay kakaiba. Sinasabi niya, sa mga taong nais na sumunod sa akin, ay kinakailangan nilang i-give up, isakripisyo ang kanilang buhay. Bagko sinasabi pa ni Jesus, sa mga taong masyado mapag, mapagsarili, hindi magtatagal. May hangganan din yan. Mawawala rin ang lahat ng mga yan. Kakaiba nga itong si Jesus. Ito pala ang sinasabi nilang magliligtas ng ating bansa. Kaya mga kapatid, kung may isang, isang magandang halimbawa na makukuha natin sa Ebanghilyo nitong ikalimang linggo ng panahon ng Kwaresma, Tatandaan natin, huling linggo na po ito. Sa susunod na linggo, Semana Santa na. Magandang paalala sa atin kung tayo'y nagdanais na sumunod at maging kaisa ni Jesus, nawa alalahanin natin ang kanyang mga salita. Una, sinasabi niya ang kahalagahan ng pagsisilbi sa kapwa. Nawa ang ating pagsisilbi sa kapwa ay salamin ng pagsisilbi sa Diyos. Nawa ang ating pamumuhay bilang kaisa 
at mga tagasunod ni Jesus ay magsilbing isang salamin ng mga o di kaya naaayon sa prinsipyo at buhay ni Jesus. Mga magandang paalala sa atin nitong panahon ng kwaresma. Mga kapatid, sa bandang huli, makikita natin yung biglang yung, yung sinasabing kahulugan ng mga sinasabi ni Kristo tungkol sa kamatayan. Ang sinasabi niya dito ay ang kamatayan sa ating mga kasalanan. Tayo ay maililigtas lamang kung tayo mismo ay mamamatay sa ating mga kasalanan. Hindi po literal ang ibig sabihin ng mga wikang ito. Sa balit, ito po ang mismong kahulugan ng panahon ng kwaresma. Nawa, bago tayo mag, magdiwang ng panahon ng pagmuling pagkabuhay ni Jesus, nawa ay madaanan natin ang isang kamatayan. Kamatayan sa ating mga kahinaan. Kamatayan sa ating mga pagkakasala. Kamatayan sa ating mga kasalanan. Nang sa gayon, sa pamamagitan ng awa at grasya ng Diyos, ay muli tayong mabubuhay. As we look forward for the resurrection, and as we anticipate the celebration of Easter, we hope that we also have that personal sense of death into our sins so that we may be able to become a better person. There will be a kind of resurrection as well, resurrection of becoming a better person. Muli po, sana sa ating patuloy na paghihintay at paghahanda ng panahon ng Semana Santa, maranasan nawa natin ang pagsasakripisyo alang-alang sa Diyos. Lalong-lalo na bilang bahagi ng ating pag-aayuno sa gitna ng ating mga kasalanan. Mara ang simbahang katolika ay sinasabi po sa atin, pinapaalala sa atin ang tamang pamamaraan ng pag-aayuno bilang bahagi ng ating pagbabagong buhay, baging bahagi ng ating pagsisikripisyo sa pagiging makasalanan natin. Isa po doon ay yung pag, ang, ang pangungumpisal. Nawapo ay madaanan natin o di kayo lumapit tayo sa pangungumpisal sa Semana Santa. Sa pamamagitan nito, taus-puso tayong lumuluhod, nagsusumamo, humihingi ng awa at tawad sa Diyos. At nawa, ang karanasang iyan sa sakramento ng, ng pagpangungumpisal ay magsilbing isang tinatawag nating turn of event sa buhay natin kung paano magsimula muli bilang isang bagong tao. Muli po, napakaganda ng paalala sa atin ng Ebanghelyo. Paalala ng paghahanda bago sumapit ang Semana Santa. Nawa, huwag tayong matakot sa tinatawag na sa konsepto na kamatayan, lalong-lalo na sa kamatayan ng ating mga kahinaan at pagkakasala. Kamatayan na siyang tulay patungo sa kaligtasan. Kamatayan na siyang tulay sa bagong buhay. Sakripisyo na siyang magdala sa atin ng pagbabago. Pag-aayuno na siyang magpapalaganap ng pagbabagong buhay. Pangungumpisal, pagmamakaawa, paghingi ng tawad na siyang maglalagay sa atin sa bagong buhay. We all now all stand and all together we profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, 
the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us ask the Heavenly Father to help us be like Christ, His Son, who loves the world and who died for our salvation. With confidence we pray, Lord, listen to, our, to your people. Lord, listen to your people. May Pope Francis, the bishops, the clergy, and the consecrated men and women be examples of self-giving love, inspire the people to glorify you through their good works. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. Inspire our government officials to build a world of peace and goodness and show concern for the good of all. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. May our love grow deeper every day so that we may share our, with others their joys and sorrows. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. Keep us from all harm and diseases, especially from the COVID-19, so that we may continue to live harmoniously. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. Grant our beloved dead may be reborn to a new life in you and rejoice forever in the vision of your glory. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. Heavenly Father, listen to the prayers of your children. Help us to be men and women for others so that we may be worthy of eternal life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Hear us, Almighty God, and having instilled in your servants the teachings of the Christian faith, graciously purify them by the working of this sacrifice. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give thanks to Almighty God. For as true man he wept for Lazarus his friend. As an eternal God raised him from the tomb. Just as taking pity on the human race. He leads us by sacred mysteries to new life. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. 
and may our voices we pray join with theirs in one accord of so exultant praise as we acclaim. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the lights of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please stand. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we may always be counted among the, the members of Christ, in whose body and blood we have communion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. The summer feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on April 21, 2021, third Wednesday of Easter. Novena Masses will begin on April 12 until April 20, 2021. The schedule of Masses will be at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m., and will be streamed live through the social media platforms of the Minor Basilica and via Manawag Dominican Radio, 102.7 FM. We cordially invite you to participate in the feast and the Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses during this feast and Novena, you may approach our Basilica personnel at the religious stores and Mass intention counters or visit our website www.manawagbasilica.org or Facebook page, Minor Basilica Manawag Official. Thank you. Please stand. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikiisa sa ating banal na misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. Bless, O Lord, your people who long for the gift of your mercy. May grant that what at your prompting they desire, they may receive by your generous gift. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now do the blessing of the sick and the blessing of the religious articles. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may these rosaries, images, candles, and all other religious articles be blessed and made the holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.